Hey, what's up? It's Jason from GamingNexus.com and the DualSense Podcast. Today I've got the first hour of Atomic Heart for you, captured on PS5. I'm currently reviewing it for Gaming Nexus. A code was provided to us by publisher Focus Entertainment. Atomic Heart is developed by Munfish and it's out on February 21st. You can look for my full review very soon on Gaming Nexus. Hope you enjoy. Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. day. Myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Suchinov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. Would you? Other people want to see too. Straight away. 
Buy a copy of the facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? What's new in robotics? The way things are going, in five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Legacy anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. So, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed an experimental vitamin complex that promises to increase the lifespan of Soviet citizens to between 100 and 150 years. Damn, that's a lot of time to kill. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems, something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, a newspaper is a resource of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy trick. Step right up. You can become part of Collective. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why restrict yourself to... No, thanks. I'm all set. Make sure the atom's in the picture. Well, let's just take the picture the way we are. Attention, please come back later. The next increase in demand is expected in five hours and 40 minutes. and visitors of the Icarus platform are encouraged to make use of our mobile polymerization lab. Become part of the collective neural network today. The future awaits. Comrades, assemble near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of facility 3826. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Step right up. 
you can become part of Collective with a thought device. Comrades, everything's up and running in Germany. I hope every soldier. Comrades, the day will come when all the planets of the soldiers. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's Poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone! <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> 
Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible so to launch to see you're taking a worldwide, all-encompassing The car is waiting. Of the you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. At last, it's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, not least. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone and Finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of us. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. To you, the device of the future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind, free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You... We'll no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. Comrade. As a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and... Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Sechenov here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, 
What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades I just came from in it. every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of oh, robotic workers from the city. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? That's more like it. finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me. Is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough. But why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? 
Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Trophy's initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Your Watch out! Now what am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory gate. Take my hand, comrade major. I will escort you to the Babylon complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh! What the 
hell are you slip. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? It's killing me. Do not interact with the robot Do not panic. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Viktor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me. Alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. I've through polymer plenty of times and I haven't drowned yet. Frickin' miracle of modern science. Oh. 
Holy shit! Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help me! Hey, you! I'm coming! You alive in there? Shit! Uh, get away from me! Yourself. Get the fuck off me! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Ah. 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Oh, here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that! Eat shit and die! Shit! Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Goddamn clusterfuck.
need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Rose from the ashes. Can I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shingo, why didn't you tell me that before? At this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Thank you. 
on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work, and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colton some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it.
Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. So you're telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, the algorithm has not been Fucker! Hurt. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traitors introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Thank <laughs> you. 